Hello, darlings. Welcome to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. First, I'd like for you to take a moment and think about something that is troubling you, something that's on your mind, or you can relax your mind and let your subconscious let whatever issues that it wants you to address by letting, by allowing your mind to be free. I'm going to pull three cards and I'm going to give you my collective intuition in hopes to provide you with some inspiration as you go about your day. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And Jungle Beauty God, Goddess Chalby's message to you is, Anger means a boundary has been crossed. You must fix it. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. Again, we're pulling in some third chakra, personal power, self-esteem, self-worth, energy. And her message to you is, sometimes you are your own worst enemy. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents the heart chakra, her ability to feel compassion and love for ourselves and for others to know what is in our what's in our heart. It says sometimes love means letting go. My collective intuition in terms of your message is you are right. Honey, you are right. Darling, you are 100% right. But it is not the right time for you to strike back. It is not the right time for you to go and try to get your boss fired. It is not the right time for you to pursue an action where you're going to be the person who's going to probably end up on the losing end of the stick. Now, you are right. But when I say it's not the right time, there is a time that's going to come where it's going to be beneficial for you. So your card says, um, anger means a boundary has been crossed. You must fix it. So let's just say, for example, and I'm just using any example, you, your boss instills your idea. You send her or him a proposal and you see that the changes that you suggested have been implemented and you've never been given any credit or no one has ever thanked you for it and you just feel like, oh, I'm, I'm really upset. You have a right to feel upset, but what could be the repercussions? Could it change your work hours? Could you lose your job? Could your, could your boss um, start picking on you? These are things you have to think about, even in your relationship. Is Yes, I'm right, but how far can I take this before I lose? You know, I used to tell my son the story when he was in school or when he would try to negotiate with me as to why he, you know, couldn't do something that I didn't want him to do. And he would want to negotiate. And I would tell him, I said, baby, you can't negotiate. I said, negotiation means that both parties have equal power right you have your things and I have my things and it you know who knows what's going to happen because we both have equal power I said but baby you got to know when you have a bowing arrow and somebody else have a gun that is not a negotiation that is a takeover and it is they're pretending to negotiate with you okay so I am sensing that the message for you today whatever you are harboring whatever whatever is in your heart yes you have been wrong baby darling you have been wronged but the way you go about creating justice for yourself you're going to have to wait and think about it and for now you're gonna to have to let it go sometimes love means letting go and what I mean about even though the card is saying um, sometimes love means letting go it also means letting go of arguments, letting go of disagreements, letting go for now. It doesn't mean that you've forgotten or that you are letting people run over you. It just means that you need to wait until you are in a position where you can protect yourself, where you can look out for yourself. You can um, make sure that you aren't without a job or you maybe you just need to talk to your mate. It says sometimes you're your own worst enemy. What this means is that you take sometimes when people are their own worst enemies, 
enemy. It just means that, let's say you are right and someone does something to you, but you decide, well, I'm going to take it a step further. You know, I'm going to, listen, there is a time to seek justice. There is a time. But you have to make sure everything is lined up. You have to make sure that sometimes it's not just about having your facts. Because this person may have people on their side who does not care if they're right or wrong. You know, we can live in the and and if they're if they have people who support them who does not care if they are right or wrong because they're going to support them anyway, you're just going to get yourself in a whole bunch of trouble. So the cards are saying. That if there's a dispute with your neighbor, think about it. Do you really want to look for a new place right now? Can you afford a new place right now? Whatever disputes are going on, do you really want to end your relationship or do you just want to make your point? Do you just want to let this person know that these are my boundaries, you can't treat me this way? Um, I don't want to see any other inappropriate conversations on your cell phone. I don't want to see any DM messages. I mean, you need to set your... There, there are cases in your life, there are scenarios in your life where yes, you can go ahead Put your foot down, set your boundaries, you know what I'm saying? And still let it go. But the cards are saying, you are right, but it's not the right time to strike back. Okay? Think about it. Position yourself. Make sure you have more than a bow and arrow, child. Make sure you have everything lined up for yourself. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.